Ndiyama Gadagera. I am the CEO and co-founder of Everelectric. Everelectric is an electric vehicle as a service business. So we provide full maintenance lease solutions to clients in the logistics industry. Uh, we provide vehicles, charging infrastructure, everything that a fleet manager would need to transition their fleet from uh, internal combustion engine as seamless as possible. My name is Trevor McCoy, I'm the Managing Executive of UPD. UPD is a pharmaceutical wholesaler which supplies medicines to the retail pharmacy market as well as uh, private hospitals. So today we are launching the UPD, it's 42 uh, e-deliver three panel vans from Psych Maxis. Um, the partners in this, in this whole program is UPD, it's Investec, Everelectric with the Maxis brand, which is where the vehicles come from. It's the driver owners as well. Um, and it works such as that Everelectric will provide the, the logistics uh, management. We will maintain the vehicles, we've sold the vehicles to the owner drivers who will be delivering UPD medication. Um, and, and Investec funded that, that transaction and the owner drivers actually own these vehicles at the end of the day. What's exciting about this project is that it's the first of its kind in the industry. We are rolling out a fleet of uh, light commercial vehicles that are compliant with the requirements to distribute uh, pharmaceutical products. Um, it is entirely green. It is the first vehicles that have got a refrigerated box that is uh, powered by solar energy. What's also exciting about this project, it is a continuation of our owner driver scheme. But this time around, and what excites us is the fact that one third of these vehicles will be owned by black female entrepreneurs. The UPD owner drivers program was established in 2003. It has had sustainable growth over, over the last years, supporting 80 black entrepreneurs since its inception. We are now adding black female entrepreneurs to the program, which is further contributing to sustainability and transformation in our industry. That ownership is, is quite important and it makes an impact because uh, because of the of the economics of running an electric vehicle, it means that dr the drivers are getting more more rands back in their pockets, which is which is really great for them as well. So I'm very excited that we are the first pharmaceutical wholesaler and logistic service provider that is launching this kind of initiative of having vehicles on the road that are green. So I'm very excited about that. I'm also excited about the fact that we'll be expanding the project in the new year uh, further down the coast into KZN and then also into the Eastern Cape, in particular Gabeja. That's another thing that's exciting. Although the vehicles are coming in from abroad imported, the modifications that have been done to the vehicle are all locally done, including the, the, the refrigerated boxes, the solar panels that, that we put onto the vehicles, batteries and inverters. So for the drivers, it's been a great experience. Firstly, to get this new toy, you know, that um, is different from anything you, you were driving before. I mean, we are excited about electric vehicles too. But, but also because of the economics of running an electric vehicle, if you are doing a certain number of kilometers, it really, you, you save on, you know, that, on that diesel or petrol cost. And so all of those savings are actually cashed back in the drivers. You know, I was speaking to one of the drivers and they were talking about the fact that that they can actually see the difference between what they were, you know, what they were paying per month in terms of, uh, of fuel and what they are paying now because they are using this electric option. So that makes us happy. But I think for the drivers, it's also that um, the pride of owning this vehicle at the end of the day. It's a pharmaceutical first, right? It's got um, a box that is locally manufactured with, with uh, solar panels at the top, which means then the, the refrigerated boxes run from the solar panels. So they are part, uh, the driver owners are actually part of this innovation and they get to own these vehicles at the end and they get to save money, which is awesome, yeah. What would make me sleep better at night is um, if we can grow into other 
you know, it can grow into other fleets. I think what we've done so far is really, we haven't even scratched the surface in terms of what is possible. But I think that future for Eve Electric also means the future for the country. We need to do a lot of groundwork in, um, in, in driving adoption of electric vehicles. Not because I'm in the business and I'm drinking the Kool-Aid, but drive the electric vehicles just because of also our OEMs and, and, the, and the, you know, the industry in South Africa, the automotive industry in South Africa, which is quite a great contributor to, to GDP, um, to be able to, you know, to transition that to new energy vehicles. Uh, so so what the work that we are doing, we see is stimulating the market. We are getting the vehicles out there and hopefully we'll be able to get electric vehicles manufactured in country. That means jobs for our country. That means an, um, an export uh, base, excuse me. It means that we can also grow the, you know, the, the economy and, and preserve the jobs as well. So yeah, that, that would make me happy. We will grow as a company, but we will also grow as a country.